everybody. This is M M A S M R back with another video. So this video is just going to be an examination of yet another detailed um, illustration. I have been finding a lot of them recently. Uh, for a while, I found one a few months back, and then didn't see any for about half a year. And then within the past two weeks, they just seem to be like everywhere. <laughs> So we're going to be going over one of those. And then I have finished a piece of my own artwork that I can also show to you guys at the end of this video. So if you're interested in seeing a new piece of my own work, watch till the end of the video. If you're only interested in the ASMR components, then just watch the first part with the detailed drawing. So, I found this really cool yet very strange I think it's a painting actually and I found this and I can't even remember where it was it was in some magazine and I took a photograph of it because I've never seen anything quite like it so I'm going to get my trusty MM stick here and we're going to go over this so what this is is that it basically a painting of sort of a forest scene it almost like this is how i envision the enchanted forest where the witch of the wood character lives looking like with the beautiful foliage and greenery and a little bridge connecting the two bits of land but it's also got all of these ladies who look like they're just having a spa day almost like a day on the beach with no no sand, no beach, instead they're at a river. And they're dressed in mostly vintage clothes, anywhere from the 1920s to 1950s style swimsuits. But interestingly, some of them have like fish heads, some of them have flower heads. It's so surrealist. It's, it's like, as you guys know, I'm an abstract artist, so this is not really my style of work. But I just think this is awesome. It's just so different and weird and it just captured my attention and I thought you guys might enjoy it too so let's go over it so let's start from the very bottom here and I'm going to sorry about the noise I'm going to adjust the camera and we'll start at the bottom here so here we have one two three ladies just lounging on a rock and this lady's wearing a pink swimsuit, this lady's wearing a blue swimsuit, and this lady's wearing a darker blue swimsuit. And this lady just has her hair pulled back in a bun. And this one has her hair down a bit, but look, she's got these really wild flowers in her hair. It almost looks like she's wearing a vase on top of her head. And then this lady here, her head is actually a bouquet of orange flowers with green stems. That cool. And then if you move over here to these three ladies, one, two, three, you have fish heads. So these ladies are essentially hybrids of fish and women. They're almost like opposite mermaids. You know the way that most mermaids have a, a human uh, head and a fish tail? Well, these, these mermaids would have human bodies and fish heads but they're quite i gotta say they're not scary looking they're quite interesting and cute in their own way so we have this lady here who has a yellow fish head she looks like an angel fish and she's wearing this really cute swimsuit it's red and pink it might have a little bit of white in it but i think it's like a little heart pattern and she is she is looking at her friend who has a pink fish head i guess she would look a bit like a salmon i suppose and she has on this really cute white and green and blue swimsuit and she's holding a beach ball and she is speaking to this friend here and she has a green fish head i suppose she looks a bit like an eel a morley eel and she's wearing an orange swimsuit with a white belt and then this lady this fourth lady looks like she's coming in to join the conversation 
and she's wearing, it's more of like a summer dress and a swimsuit, and it's beautiful shades of pink and purple, so she's got hair pulled up in a bun, and she's just a regular human, so I don't know whether she'll be able to understand their conversation, because I have no idea if they're speaking English or any human language, or if they're speaking their own fish language, who knows, but she's going to go in and try to eavesdrop on the conversation either way. And then you could come over here. Now, forgive me, because it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30 in the morning, and I cannot remember the name of this thing. Um, this was something you, you saw in um, Victorian England a lot, probably even earlier than that, where women would go into these little, um, little shed type of things to get changed into swimsuits and then there would be like wheels directly down to the water and I just cannot remember the name of these ones. So I am just going to refer to this as a wheeled bathhouse for the purposes of this video. So as you can see there is one figure emerging from the wheeled bathhouse and she's pulling back these beautiful fuchsia curtains. She's wearing a lovely lavender bathing suit that looks like it comes from even before the 1920s, like maybe the 1880s or the 1890s. And instead of having a human head, she has an orange flower for a head. It's really beautiful. It looks like a hibiscus or possibly an Easter lily, which would be very suitable for this time of year. And then over here, she has a friend with her. Now, her friend mustn't like the water because she's wearing purple boots or perhaps wellingtons. And she has a beautiful fluffy dress to match them. That's also in purple and pink shades. It almost looks like the sort of dress that a fairy would wear. And then she's got this umbrella here. I guess you would call it a parasol. And it's pink with some beautiful blue or violet lace around the, the edges. And she also has an orange flower for a head. But I'm not sure what type of flower. It's different from her friend's. But again, very pretty colors. And then you have some lovely vegetation around here. And then if we move upwards, there is a human lady here. And she is standing amid a field of flowers. Look at this. She's got this beautiful group of flowers here. And they're pink and purple and red. And she's wearing a navy blue swimsuit with little white hearts on it. And it's got red straps and a pink bow. And she has her hair tied back. And it looks like she has some flowers in her hair, perhaps. And she's wearing sunglasses. And she's looking out over yonder. And we're going to go over there later. But for now, let's just focus here and now. Interestingly, look at these two ladies that she has sitting next to her. So one lady is sitting down. And she's wearing a cute pink swimsuit. And look at her head, though. She has the head of a fish. There's the fish's face. And there's its body. And there's this little tail. The other way to perceive this, because abstract art is very subjective, is that you could say that she has the head of a flower. And this would be the bottom of the flower, and this would be the top. Or perhaps even that of a bird. This is the bird's eye, and this is the bird's beak. It's up to you. Now, this lady, who's kind of standing or leaning against a rock next to her, is in a really cute, frilly blue swimsuit. And she has the head of a cockatoo, specifically a sulfur-crested cockatoo. I know that the feathers here look more green than yellow, but that's only because my printer is crazy. Um, but there we go. So she's got that of cockatoo. And I just, I love cockatoos. So that made me smile. I love all animals, especially birds, but I adore cockatoos. And if we come up here, we have a very interesting little scene. This is towards the top of the paper. So we have one, two, three, four ladies here. So one lady is sitting on the ground and she's wearing a maroon swimsuit and she's got a beautiful purple flower for a head 
I do not know what sort of flower this is. Um, I suppose it's periwinkle in color, but I'm, I'm afraid I love flowers, but I don't know the names of all of them. And then her neighbor here is wearing like a long sleeve blues t-shirt. And see, her head is actually that of, of a bird. It looks like a platypus. Well, not a, a platypus is not a bird. A platypus is actually a little marsupial. Um, but her head is very long, and it's either the head of a platypus, which is not actually a bird, um, or something like a spoonbill, perhaps, um, which is a, a type of bird. And she's just looking out, gazing across the water here. And then these two ladies here are both human ladies. So this lady is wearing a dark blue swimsuit with a white swim cap and it looks like she's adjusting something on her feet perhaps she's putting on little sandals so she can go walking up the path here and then this lady here is my idol because she is all in matching colors she's got a lovely maroon or brown swimsuit on and she's got a swim cap to match and she's even wearing shoes they look like high heel shoes on top of everything else and I totally get that because every day that I go out, even if I'm doing nothing, just like going out to the store or something, everything has to match. So I get this lady a lot. And look, she is on a swing that is attached to these trees. And it looks like she's just having a good time swinging. And swinging is very good exercise, no matter how old you are. And I love going on the swings whenever I get a chance because I'm never in a playground when there's no kids around. <laughs> um, because it's very good exercise so if I was in this scene I would totally be this lady and look at that it looks like such a peaceful place to swing and then this is just the top of the painting now let's just take a few moments to admire the beautiful foliage like, look at the trees around here. It looks like you just see hints of the tree trunks. And all these different colored leaves. It almost looks like a fall scene, even though this is obviously summer. Because you see flashes of orange and yellow and red. And look over here, you see bits of pink and purple and blue, like a mist. And these look like palm trees. So it has like a, even though it looks like a woods on first hand, first glance it also has like a very jungle type effect it's almost like a mishmash of a jungle and a forest and I love palm trees and they look so beautiful there and it looks like there's just mountains and mountains and hills of nature there's trees on this side too so now let us focus in on this drawbridge this lovely long drawbridge that connects the two areas and on this drawbridge, there is a woman in a white bathing suit. And she's wearing a hat. As you can see, it looks like a sombrero. And she has got the head of a bird. It's the head of a blue, a blue bird. I don't know what sort of bird this would be. There are a number of different types of pheasants that have blue heads. So it could be something like that. But it's a very becoming shade of blue. And she is heading over to talk to this lady here, the spoonbill lady and the flower lady and the tea lady here with the tea on the swing. And this bridge connects these two pathways. And then if we come over here, you see more trees a little growth. And look, here is a lady who is practicing acrobatics. She's dressed in red and white got red shoes on too, and a white cap, and she looks like she is practicing to go to the circus. There's a bar here, and it's tied to the trees, just like the swing on the other side, and she's upside down on it. I used to do this on the playground when I was younger, and this actually, you get, it's a lot of, it was fun when I was younger, if I tried to do it now, I mean, I would wind up in the hospital, but, um, this was, this was actually really tough to do with. It was a lot of fun, but then I would always be afraid that I was going to fall off. So whenever I would do this pose when I was younger, 
I would then basically have to scream for my mom to come and help me down because I was afraid I was going to fall. <laughs> but yeah, I remember I could do that when I was younger. When I was like 7, 8, 9, I think 10 was probably the limit that I could do it. That is not something I do anymore. But yeah, so she just has me a good time just practicing. Perhaps there's a circus in town. Perhaps there's some sort of avant-garde circus in town, like Circus Soleil, and they're all performers in really um, extravagant masks, and that's why some of them look like birds and flowers. Maybe they're all performers just dressed up in costume. I don't really dress rehearsal. Or maybe this whole thing is a stage, or a show, or an opera. Who knows? But I like to imagine it just as an outdoors scene. An alternate universe. So then, down from here, there are two ladies diving into the water. This lady's in a purple dress with black hair, and she's just diving straight in. And this lady is wearing a red swim cap and a red swimsuit, and she's getting ready to dive in from a different pool, different angle. And then here we have a lady, again, somebody who takes after my own heart. She's wearing fabulous yellow shoes to match her fabulous yellow bathing suit. She's got her sunglasses on and she's just hanging out and lounging by the water beds with the reeds. And then this lady here is also having a good time. She's wearing an adorable pink swimsuit with a pink headscarf and she has a cool drink here. She's wearing sunglasses and she's also got little shoes on and she is just enjoying her day. And then her friend up here also matches. She's got a green towel and a beautiful green swimsuit. I absolutely love the shade of green. It's a beautiful emerald. And she looks like she has a green scarf on around a white swim cap. And she's just leaned up against a rock there. And then they are sitting with a lady in a white swimsuit. And she's got either really big blue clown shoes on. Or these are her little bird-like feet. Because <laughs> her head is that of a bird too. Her head almost looks like that of a toucan, but then she's got these crazy feathers going on. So perhaps she's meant to be dressed up like a bird of paradise. There's a lot of birds that have blue faces and um, yellow feathers on their heads. So, very fabulous looking. And that is it. Then we are back down to these ladies lounging and in the face of this. So, I really, this is very unusual. I know that some people might find it very kind of unnerving or unsettling, because like there's ladies with fish heads and flower heads, but I don't find it unnerving. I find it very unique and different. And I guess what we can do is, just as a final thing, is count all the ladies. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. We have 24 ladies. And of them all, I think it would be really cool to have a fish head for 20, only for 24 hours. So that would be kind of a cool one to bring, especially if they're just masks or costumes, that'd be cool. But if I could be anybody in the scene, it would be totally this fabul fabulously dressed lady on the swing up here. So again, it's a really weird painting. Um, I don't even know who the artist is, um, because I'd love to see more of their work. I really would, because this is really, really awesome. But if you do know the artist, let me know. And also let me know what you like best about this, or what you think about this, do you think it's like relaxing weird, or do you think it's kind of creepy weird, or <laughs> I don't know, I just think it's awesome, it's absolutely awesome weird. And I was happy to go through all of you guys. All of a sudden I'm able to find so many 
different um, detailed paintings, which is something in drawings, which is something that I really hadn't seen for months. It's almost like this quarantine has just brought them all out. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you were interested in seeing my latest piece of art, which I literally just finished and which is literally still drying, um, please keep watching this video because I'm going to show it now. If you just came to watch the ASMR, then this is the end of the video. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. Please stay tuned to my channel because I am going to try to upload another uh, Witch of the Woods roleplay before Easter. I'm going to be Easter themed ones and I'm going to have my nails done before that. I want to try to do um, Easter egg design on my nails next. So we'll see. It probably won't be super duper complicated, but it will definitely be very pesto-like. Alright, so again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good night and very sweet dreams. And if you're interested in seeing my art, just stay tuned. If not, sleep well. Hi all, so this is my latest piece of art. It is called Strange Waves. Um, I have to leave it lying flat instead of hanging on a wall because it is so newly done that it is literally still drying. So this is very different from most of the pieces that I do. Um, it's definitely a little busier. It's very strange color patterns because I had a request. Um, this was a request from a family member actually that wanted a piece of my art. And um, it's my cousin, his wife, and their three kids, my second cousins. And everybody has a different favorite color. So I was asked to do a piece that incorporated green, blue, aqua, fuchsia pink, and amber, or amber slash gold into it. And this is what I came up with. Now, it's very, very tiny because um, the piece will need to travel back to Ireland with my family members. They were supposed to come here to New York for Easter, and obviously that went out the window because of the quarantine. But now they're definitely planning to come here um, either in October of this year or probably more likely now next year at some point. So I'll just save this for them or I'll give them another piece, whatever they're interested in. But they're the ones that inspired me to make this. So over here we have, let me have the pointer, we have just three little green triangles. We have a glitter base. This is a cap. We have a glitter base with little um, paint patterns in it. We have a little sculptural element that was then painted fuchsia. Then down here we have a canvas in a green frame. And the canvas just has really detailed painting elements on it. I don't know whether that's showing up. Oh, and the green frame actually has little po glitter polka dots done with nail polish just to add a little extra pop to it. This sculpture right here is painted gold and it is sitting on top of a Pringles cap that I painted the side of. So as you can see, it's all 3D, as is all of my work. And then up here, we have a reflective piece of paper and we have a little um, triangular foam uh, block here with a rhinestone on top of it. Another rhinestone here, glitter green, glitter gold on the edges. And then we have, this is polymer clay uh, sculpture. And then down here, we have a canvas that pops up from the rest of the frame. And we have bottle caps here with polymer clay sculptures inside of each one that match the color scheme. See, and they're kind of done in a swirl pattern. And the same thing for this one. And then this is just another piece. This is polymer clay. This is a different type of clay. This actually, um, I just mold it in one color and then I paint it. The polymer clay has to be baked in an oven, but it comes in the colors that it's in. And this just has color patterns that match the blue here. And then this is also pink that matches the color patterns here and here. And then the blue here matches the blue here and the blue here. And then I have another little foam piece that pops up from the canvas, and that is again painted to look like this. There's a little green rhinestone at the end to match the frame. And there you go. And then down on this side, oh, and then there's a teal rhinestone up here, or an aqua rhinestone. Kind of matches some of the colors in here. 
And then over here we have gold and pink and gold foil that is very reflective. And then I just have a green sculpture. This is painted the same green that is the, sh that is the frame. But then I also put a little bit of shiny metallic green um, on little pieces just so it has a little bit of pop. The same way that the frame has a little bit of pop due to the nail polish. And then on the bottom here, I have some rhinestones on top. Uh, I have a green block that is holding up this um, big cap that I got from an animal crackers bottle. Bo <laughs> animal crackers jar, I should say, not the bottle. And um, then I have these fuchsia rhinestones, because fuchsia, again, is part of the color scheme. So that is it. It is very strange. It is a newborn. It was literally just finished tonight. Um, it was literally just finished before I started making this video for you guys. That is why it's not hanging on a wall. It can certainly hang on a wall. It is rigged to do that. Um, I just dare not do it because it is still in the process of drawing. It's very, very new. So, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you like this. And please check back to my channel soon for more ASMR videos. And when I finish art, I will also show it off to you. Have a good night. Bye.